When Orion Togum first started work as a barista, she felt the way most people do. Were you nervous at all on your first day of work? Yes. Because she had another challenge. Like more than 5 million adults across the country, she's on the autism spectrum, a condition her new boss understood well. They are the hardest working group of people that I know. It's actually a win-win for us. Glennis Harvey owns the Hidden Mana Cafe, just an hour south of Chicago. Roughly a quarter of her staff is differently abled. Her first hires, her twin sons, who are both on the autism spectrum, and took a fresh approach to each task, like dishwashing. I kind of think of it as kind of Tetris. Like the game, the video game. Yes. Over 70% of autistic adults face unemployment, which is why in the last five years, nearly three dozen bigger companies have tapped into programs to train neurodiverse employees. I work for Quality Assurance. At consulting company EY, the move has paid dividends. We had these individuals join us and contribute to significantly enhancing and automating a lot of the training. Not only were we able to make the training more efficient, but also more impactful. Meaning no matter what the day brings for these workers. What would you say to companies who are afraid to hire people who are different? I would say being different is what makes them amazing. There's no risk in trying to give us a shot. That's all it takes. Have a great day. Their future is brighter than ever. Morgan Radford, NBC News, Chicago. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.